Hey everyone, it's Handheld Hardware, and I'm back today to show off my latest software, and I'm showing it off on the Minisform V3. A big thanks to them for sending this over for review and as a developer unit. If you don't know what my software is, it's designed to take gaming handhelds, tablets, and laptops that run Windows and make it easy to control the device. There's a few things I like to emphasize with my software. That is control at your fingertips, customizability, and controller support. And we'll go over all of those in this video. Let's start with the main screen here, and you can see we have a bunch of different things that we can control right here. We've got TDP, brightness, volume, power plan, and there's some other things as we go down the list. If we go down all the way to the bottom, we can see that there's resolution and refresh rate. We could change the refresh rate if we wanted to. Come over here, we could change the brightness, and we can bring it back up. And we can toggle the mute here as well. So you've got a lot of power at your fingertips. And like I said, everything's customizable. So if I go into the settings and I say edit homepage, I could say I don't want to see the EPP and I want volume to be above brightness. Oops, wrong way. Let's bring volume all the way to the top. And let's go back to the homepage and let's check it out. Volume's at the top and EPP is not in the list. So whatever you want on this home screen, you can customize it to the way that you want it to be. Let's move to the next page, which is the quick action page. And here you're gonna see a bunch of different actions that we can take that allows us to control the device. Things like toggling Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, going to the desktop, bringing up the on-screen keyboard, changing TDP mode, toggling this menu here. Now the Minisform V3 does have free sync. So if I do open up the AMD control panel, we can actually see that we can toggle the free sync. So you can actually change that or like integer scaling. You can change that from this menu. And going along with the customizability, if we go to the settings and we go to edit actions, we can see all of these actions here. We can come down the list, come down the list. We can go ahead and we can add a new action. And I really want to add a uh, steam big picture mode. And so let's have it display in the panel and then we're going to have it display in the radial menu, which we'll go over here in a moment. And we could also set up a hotkey as well. So I'm going to set up a keyboard hotkey of Alt-E and let's hit save. So if I go back to the action panel here, we can see Steam Big Picture modes there. And let's open up the radial menu here, which is another cool mode that we have. And we can see it's over here in the menu as well. Let's go ahead and try our hotkey though, Alt-E, and it should bring up Steam Big Picture Mode. Let's bring back up the menu. We can either use a hotkey, or if you've got a touchscreen device, you can actually just swipe in the middle here, or on this side if it comes up on the other side, to bring the menu back up. We also have a little icon down here, and you can always show it from here as well. Taking a quick look at the Actions menu, again, the settings here, you can come over here and you can edit, you can delete, you can move them up and down, you can rearrange them. You can have multiple in this menu. So supposing you wanted to have a couple different TDP modes in the radial menu, you could do that. You could have a different one that displays in this. So it's up to you. You can also control this with a controller. And I've got a controller here that we're going to use to navigate this. And yeah, basically everything you can do with a mouse or touchscreen, you can get to with a controller. Now I've got some hotkeys already programmed in for this. If I do control, I'm sorry, LBRB D-pad left, it brings up the menu. If I do LBRB D-pad up, it brings up the radial menu. And there's some cool things like you can go to like TDP mode. You can change TDP mode here if you wanted to. Um, open Steam Big Picture. You could pick like a volume mode. So if you wanted the volume at a certain level, you could do that as well. Um, toggle Wi-Fi. Mouse mode is another really cool feature. And one of the things that I developed was a on-screen keyboard specific for a controller. But we're going to go into mouse mode here and we're going to test it out. So mouse mode allows us to use the controller as a mouse. So I can sit here and I can navigate around. I can open up browser. I can go basically anywhere a mouse can go. But if I wanted to type something in, I can come over here and I can press Y. It brings up my on-screen keyboard. And this is actually controller controlled. And I can actually type by using LB and RB and whatever other little hotkeys here represent. So if I come over here and I press X, I can backspace. 
I can use the start button as an enter. And if I press B, it goes right back into mouse mode. And I can move around, go up and down here, and then press the Y. We're back into the on-screen keyboard. We can type quickly if we need to. And um, if I come over here and I type in here and I press the Y button, um, let's start typing. Uh, let's do preview text so we can actually see what we're typing. So let's try Y. And we can see that we got a preview here. So if you have to type something down below, you can actually see a preview of what we're typing right here. So that's kind of a cool feature, right? You can backspace, press R, I, 9, whatever. You can see a preview of what you're typing. So even if you have to type down at the bottom, you can see what you're typing. Another cool feature of mouse mode is if you press X, it actually brings up the, uh, what is it, the Alt tab, I think it is. You can actually go quickly between the different menus. So here's my... Um, uh, Visual Studio, let's go back to AMD, and let's go back to Edge, and you can quickly go between menus. I think that's another cool feature of this mouse mode. Now, I do have some customizations that you can do in this. Let me turn off mouse mode real quick. Actually, if I go to the menu, it should disable mouse mode. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, there is a way to edit mouse mode, and you can kind of see some of the options here. I don't have them all enabled now, but I will bring them in. You can customize what each button does. But for right now, there's only these options as well. But it gives you another way to control your device, especially if you've got a gaming handheld. So like I said in the beginning, I am going to leave the GitHub link in the description below. I'm still working on this. There's still a few bugs. I'm still working on auto updates. So if you join in now, just understand that there are some bugs that are going to be present. And I am going to work on the auto updater so that when I do make fixes available, you can just download them right from the app. Other cool things that I do have planned are game and application launchers. And if you tried my handheld control panel, you'll know that I do have the code to do this. And I will implement that shortly. Profiles are another thing that I'm going to implement very shortly. So you can have it so that certain TDPs um, apply when a certain application launches. Make it easier to control what your device is doing. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and thanks for watching.